Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Micah Let's Play, and guess who I am? I'm Micah, because who else would I be? Guys, I am so excited. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Assassin's Creed Shadow uh, by Ubisoft. Now, <laughs> I have a little to explain. Um, so this might be the first video you see on my channel in a while. Um, don't worry, content is coming. I have just been swamped with work just so you know. Um, <laughs> um, I heard about this game. I think it was called Assassin's Creed Red. Red at one point, but now it's called Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, and I'll tell you what I do know about some of the game um, and, and why Assassin's Creed Valhalla never appeared on the channel. So because <laughs> it took me a minute to get a PS5 and I have been so busy the desire to play Valhalla kind of passed. And so I just started watching someone else's Let's Play of it. And I like some things. I'm not really that interested in Valhalla, unfortunately. Um, but I know some people like it. Some people didn't like it. Um, I know Assassin's Creed Mirage had came out recently. But I don't know anything about it. Uh, and this will be my very first time uh, really playing an Assassin's Creed game. I My peak, my, my peak, my interest, I was starting to try to say interest was peaked, but peak dress came out of my mouth. Sorry. My interest was peaked because um, of the historic character Yasuke or Yasuke, Yusuke. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Um, my interest was piqued because of him. Now, just so you know, I knew about him way before the internet did. Uh, my father was very into learning about hidden black figures throughout history, and I knew about him. I knew he was in service of Lord Nobunaga. Um, he, he and for those of you don't who don't know who Nobunaga was, he was one of the three unifiers of Japan way back in the feudal days, feudal era. What I do know about Yusuke is that he was brought to Japan um, from I want to say the Portuguese. The Portuguese is why he wound up in Japan. I do believe he was a slave. Um, and I think because of his sheer size and he was the first African that, you know, Nobunaga had ever seen, he was like, you, I want you on my side. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to play with his narrative because this guy was, this is hundreds of years ago. So no one really knows the real story about this guy other than he was in Japan and he picked up Japanese really quickly. So I'm excited about that because I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. I've also seen some negative stuff like tying it in with woke. Now, if Ubisoft is doing this for a woke reason, only they will suffer the consequences of that. But for me, I'm just excited to see another character, you know, uh, another blackface in media. And I'm excited about that. And I'm also excited that, you know, this has something to do with ninjas. Now, for those of you who don't know, I love Japan. I love ninjas. Um, I'm super excited for these two things uh, to be in an Assassin's Creed game. And I think that's part of the reason why I was never really that interested in Assassin's Creed to begin with. Because what I remember, what I do know of the first game, it had something to do with the Garden of Eden and the Apple. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comment section. Now with that said, let's dive into this trailer. I want to look at all the stuff they have for it. So this video might be longer than usual. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited to dive into this. So we're going to hit play in three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, okay. We got a ninjas. You know, Princess Kasumi be praised. I love Princess Kasumi. Oh, I'm loving this. Who are you? I love it. <gasps> oh, that... That, yes, that hit when she steps, yes. Oh, oh I, I love that transition. Life. Our land. Her voice. Our custom. Oh, this My is beautiful. Family. Yeah. Burns Ooh. in the name of unification. <gasps> She's beautiful. Ooh, oh. Shit just got real. Ooh. Oh, 
I like her fighting. That is dope. Ooh. Look at the fire. She is fucking gorgeous. Oh. You are still <gasps> a frog. That's away. him. Who knows nothing of the sea? That's a proverb. The oceans filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. I think that's um, that's Lord Nobunaga. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Daddy Mama. cute. Okay. <laughs> Vengeance. I love it. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Boom, bang. Yes! That was fire. That was fucking fire. Will you continue down that river? Mmm. Or choose another path. I'm sorry. That's one fine motherfucker. And we must and she's beautiful. Together. Oh, so they're unified. Well, unification, yeah. Oh, Ubisoft, the cinematic, yes. Again, Princess Kasumi, be praised. Trust. Let's go. Oh. <gasps> oh. And follow oh. the blade. I have something to say about that little scene. We'll talk about it in a minute because it's about to get fire right now. The music then dropped and look at that. Oh, I like the music. Yes, queen. Oh, get him, girl. Mm. Mm. I, I like this so far. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, he said, I come to play, batter up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I mean, that boy is a bruiser and I love it. Mm. That transition is fire. Dude, who do you serve? But that transition, Ooh, oh, oh. the shadows that serve the light. I like that. Oh. Queen did some things. Queen did some things. Okay, so let's let's uh let's pause this for a second. Let's pause this for a second. Um <laughs> Okay, we all know Ubisoft does bomb cinematic trailers. Um and this is no exception. Um, I'm definitely going to pre-order. I'm definitely going to pre-order. So her name is... Hopefully I'm saying that. Nawa? Nawa? Nawi? Nawi? Hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry. Okay, so... I want to meet Nawi and Yasuke. Hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. Um, because they dropped all this stuff yesterday. And I wanted to see it. And especially with all the stuff I was seeing on Twitter. And the negative videos I was seeing. Um, I'm just very excited for this game. This has my interest. I'm, I've, you know, they knew what they were doing. So let's, let's see these next videos. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to get everything together for this next video. I'm really excited about it. It already looks like it's there's going to be some stuff going on. Um, so I'm very curious. I want to learn more about these characters, especially knowing that this is a historical figure uh, within our real world. So I'm excited about that. Um, so let's go ahead, hit play, and let's see. Uh, let's learn more about, uh, hopefully I'm saying it, Nawe and Yusuke. Okay. With our okay. dual protagonists, we have two fantasy, the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience okay. both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasy into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different okay. lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. 
The historical character of Yasuke presented a really Yasuke. exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not mm -hmm. a lot is known about him, but what we did nope. know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts and that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, and Jesuits, which made oh, Jesuits. it very okay. sort of tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. This scene with the little girl. The more we read I about, about the character, that. the more mm -hmm. he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. I like that. And on the flip side, we have Nawe who comes uh, from the no province way. of okay. Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely I independent, uh, known right. as the birthplace of Shinobi. So they're very <gasps> contrasting perspectives that really expose mm. a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. You have Yasuke and Oda I like uh, coming okay. to destroy the shinobi. So it can mm. kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. Mm. We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in the game. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father in the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, okay. it's super clear that samurai will be combat heavy and a shinobi will be stealth heavy. It creates this nice. distinction right away. Yasuke mm. uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, like he's, nice. he's a big guy. He can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. Compared to Naoe, mm. like her character and the, their oh, outfit, it's, it's really about being stealth, being unseen. She's the only one with the Eden Blade, so they have clear advantage oh. that put them into the, the stealth and the combat, even if they can do a, a bit of both. They're a okay. really great pair together because I on one scene. side, uh, we have Naoe, who's very intense and passionate and, and determined right. woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment and this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well mm. with Yasuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful, level head to Naoe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to this come to Japan right and have this the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our right. Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very right. nice sort of counterpart to Naoe. He's a bit mysterious right. as well, and that's something we get to see unfold that's as seen. the game progresses. I love it. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. Let's 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 go back a little bit. Let's focus on, uh, you know, this right here. Okay, so like I said, I I know that Yasuke was from the the portuguese that i know i didn't know about the jesuits now the jesuits for those of you who don't know was more like i think they were like missionaries if my memory serves me correctly i think they were missionaries um and they were you know spreading the lord's message and all that stuff and i do know he is from africa that much i do know um again as i said before what i know about him is that he is some kind of I don't know if he was really on the battlefield. Like, I know he was in service of Lord Nobunaga, but I think he was more of what they called retainers. He was a retainer. So he was more of like in the background, I believe. Um, but he was with Lord Nobunaga because he piqued his interest. 
Um, and what I do know, yes, this man had wealth. He had a home. He had wealth. But I know he wasn't in Japan like all of his days. I know he came to Japan. He was there for a certain amount of time. And then I believe he left. But what happened after that, I really don't know. Just like the directors were saying, there's so little history on this man. Uh, but like I said, I learned about him when I was a really little boy, like a really small kid. And my dad was sharing with me, you know, all the different things things about black culture and black history um and Yasuke was one of the people he shared with me um and then the scene where let's just I'm moving to this scene right here where it's the softer scene where Yasuke is 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 in front of the little girl um that soft scene where you know that scene where you see hold on let me see if I can find it first and foremost let's Let's mute this. Yeah, so you see, I'm just kind of like skipping, skipping around. Um, let's see, how can I find this little scene um, where you're talking about, and I like the fact that both of them can do styles. Both of them can, uh, you know, be very direct and blunt, you know, and I'm excited to see that I'm excited to learn more about her father, who was like the birthplace of the Shinobi. Um, and I think that's like really interesting to learn, uh, learn that about her and learn that about him, you know? So I'm just excited to see it. So let me see if I can find that scene where it's that soft scene where you see uh, this scene right here. Now, I have a real life experience with something like this. Um, where, you know, she's just like, like seeing this, you know, this samurai, but also he's black. So he's like nothing she's ever seen before. And I like that they did it through the eyes of a child to soften it, to make it a sweet moment, to also make you feel connected to Yasuke. Um, what I do know, what I, what I can say, what I remember my real life experience with something like this. I was about, I want to say I was around 16 years old. I was on a school field trip and I was at a Native American art museum. It was a long, long time, many moons ago. And I was looking at a, um, a tomahawk, like, you know, the, the tomahawk that they would use in battle and what they would use to fight um, the Native American, like, you know, weapons and architect, their arrows. But I was staring at this, this, this tomahawk. And then I just got this weird feeling that I was being watched or observed. You know that feeling when you know eyes are on you. So, you know, I took a step back and I started looking around. And then there was this little white boy, this little blonde hair, blue eyed white boy. I will never forget this day. And he circled me like a hawk. He circled me at least three or four times. And he was looking at me with that same expression as this child. And I remember he saw his father, he ran to his dad, his dad picked him up. The kid couldn't have been no more than seven or eight. Like he was, he was little, but he could talk very well. So, or maybe he was just well educated. Maybe he could have been younger. I don't know. But I remember him distinctly pointing at me and saying, daddy, what kind of person is that? You know, but he had that same odd expression on his face. So for me, <laughs> that was a real world moment because I've experienced that, you know, and his father looked very put out. His father's face went, when he realized I was looking back at them, his face went ghostly white. Then all of a sudden he had, ve he had very high color by being super red. And then he said, oh, um, that's an African-American. And his son looked at him like, the fuck is that? You know, and it just, it was really sad. I remember I told my teacher about it and she just looked disgusted. Like, what the hell? You know, so even though this is, it's, I like how this was done. It's a very beautiful scene. Uh, and it was very well done because the cinematics in this game are, but like I said, Ubisoft is known for their cinematic trailers. Um, but yeah, and then understanding his his um, historical significance within this game. I'm very excited to see what they do with this story and where they go with it. And, you know, some people are saying, oh, this is woke, this is woke. But I'm just excited and I pray that they show this as a story. They just tell a story between these two very different 
figures, I believe Nawe is the fictional character in this narrative. So I'm just excited to see the story. I want a good story, and now I want to see gameplay. I want to see gameplay because... We all know, you know, gameplay says a lot more. Cinematics can get you hyped up and pumped, but it's the cinematics that will... I mean, it's the cinematics in the game that get you pumped, but like in Mirage, you know, the game was full on Monet, and if you don't know Monet as an artist, or an art style, so to speak, um, where far away it's okay, but up close it's like a big old mess, you know? So Mirage looked good from afar, but when you started like being in the world, you start noticing mm, that needed some work. So... You know, I hope that when we finally do get that gameplay, you know, the game will be just as beautiful as these cinematic because this, like this, like the open world, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh, like be still my heart. Like, Jesus, this is, this is beautiful. Like, it is just beautiful. Um, I'm a huge fan of ninjas. As I said before, Princess Kasumi from Dead or Alive is my favorite character in that game because, one, she's a ninja and she's like a beautiful, strong character. I'm very excited for Nawe because she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think, like, when you see her face, like... It's completely naked. There's no makeup. She's fucking beautiful. Like, oh my god. Um, I don't know if these characters will be able to have a romance, but... Um, like, this scene right here is literal fucking fire. But I'm excited to see their relationship. I want to see the relationship between these two characters. And this scene right here is so iconic. It's like a comic book. You know, for me, for those of us who read comics, this scene... It says so much, and I like the slant in the line because later you see the line is straight. Like, here, they're not on equal footing. Like, they're, it's almost like opposing lines, opposing narratives. And then later, you see the line is centered, and they say, we work together. You know, I love it. And again, I hate to see her with an injury, but girl is fucking gorgeous. These graphics are... Yes, like, I'm so here for it. I love the 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 confusion in her face to see this samurai. And what I do remember from Assassin's Creed is that you had the hidden ones. And I think, is he supposed to represent the Templars? Because I think they... I remember that in the first game, and I remember that going further into, like, the other games, because Assassin's Creed has a lot of different ones. I know they had one that was from, like, the UK, the Pirates, one that was, like... Uh, Spain or like that was like Spain. I know uh, they did Odyssey, which I was interested in Odyssey. I was very interested in Odyssey because of Greek mythology. I love Greek mythology. And I was also interested in Assassin's Creed Valhalla because Thor. But still, you know, I was interested in those two storylines. But this has really got my interest. Because one, to me, Assassin, Ninja, it just makes sense. It just makes sense that they and I don't know what took them so long to actually do this but it makes sense and to see Yasuke you know again it's just it's one of my people throughout history and I'm just excited to see a uh, black you know it seems like they're opposing until they become you know um like they work together and it seems like she's the assassin you know, like, she's the assassin, so she brings him into the Hidden Ones. Because he said, you know, we are the shadow that work, that serves the light. And I think that's, imp I think that's like, something they say in the game. So, I'm excited to see that. And, you know, in addition to her exquisite beauty, like, I mean, they did such a good job on her. But I can't lie or deny, you know, brothers, this man is, this man is cute. Like... I, I, you know, I might be alone in this conversation, but this man, he, he's just, he's gorgeous. Like, he's so beautiful. He's so well done. Like, I love it. I love that scene where he takes off his helmet after they've had that, like, significant, like, that moment right here. Like, right here where he takes off his helmet. I love it so much. Like, uh, like it's not on his face anymore, but... I love that scene like that, like where you see him do the little wink, like, I love it. Like, I think that's so cool. Uh, I know they're supposed to actually, with the, the samurais are supposed to wear a mask, but they don't have it because, you know, 
they want you to uh, they want you to see his face so he can emote with his eyes and I get all that um but I don't know I really I really like this I really think that the way and how they're telling this story between these two characters is really interesting and again I might be alone at this but this man is fucking beautiful like he's absolutely gorgeous just like Nawe she's so beautiful and I just love the lighting I love the visual storytelling that they did in this trailer and I like how you know they have that contrast where of course he's very dark skinned and he's very dark and you have this bright beautiful like cherry blossom right next to him uh, and I love his armor I think like like this for me like all the art and all the beauty I'm I'm sold I'm here for it you know what do you guys think how do you guys feel about it you know are you excited to see this story unfold and just focusing on the positive are you excited about the story like I'm excited about the story I want to know what these two protagonists I want to know what journey I'm gonna go on you know I don't need to be hit with the message I want to be told a fascinating story with these two incredibly cool looking characters um I'm be real I'm way more ninja like I want to be you know stealthy stabby stabby run away and be gorgeous in the dark you know that's me that's my more you know but I know he's gonna be more of like the brawler but I know you can kind of like they were saying that you can kind of play with both of them but I'm just excited to see this story you know I keep saying it over and over because I I, I can't lie or deny <laughs> <laughs> I am very pumped for this. Uh, but again, I want to know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about it? Are you excited? Are you, do you think this is a problem? You know, are you, you know, where, where, where do you fall in all of this? Or are you like me? Just fuck yeah, baby. More diversity, more storytelling, you know, real storytelling. No messages needed because the story in itself is the message, you know, and that's what I want to know. Uh, but until then, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. Baldur's Gate 3, um, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, and much, much more coming your way. Uh, and also, guys, we are now officially at 2,000 and we're still climbing so thank you to everyone who has been a part of this community um and thank you to everyone who's recently joined we're gonna go on so many adventures together and i'm excited to go on it with you but until then remember to live think and dream big choose love over fear be like this sexy bastard um because look at those lips my god he's so kissable but, anyway, <laughs> but until then um, bye